goes into the fish, the fish goes into you. So it matters when this leaks, even a tiny amount. It says, giant underground pools, a total of $18 million was spent on seven huge underground pools built by Medicorp the store, to store contaminated water. They leaked within weeks, and the water had to be transferred into steel tanks, and we just told you how that went. The unfrozen trench. $840,000. It was a project to contain highly contaminated water in the maintenance tunnel. By freezing, it failed because the water never completely froze. TEPCO's subsidiary Tokyo Power Company then threw in chunks of ice, but eventually had to pour cement in and seal the trench with an $840,000 loss. It says it's even more distressing than a science journal reports. Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station, destroyed four years ago in explosions and meltdowns, triggered by an earthquake and a tsunami, won't be truly safe until they can get to the fuel, which they don't know where it is. Um, the image there's an image on this. It shows that the fuel is not in the vessel that looks like it's supposed to be in. It says in February of this year, two mound detectors from the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization in Tsukuba, Japan, were installed outside of Fuku, a Unit One ruins, and um, now the plan is to go ahead and insert a new shape-changing robot in April to see if there is enough left to, of the control rod rail to get that robot onto the containment catwalk where it could be able to circle inside the containment itself to collect more data about the location of the corium which is melted toxic fuel um, again the robot will never be able to be brought back out and he'll probably suffer the effects of the radiation I said he like it was a person I sound like Kurzweil the robot will never be able to come back out again it will probably have its insides utterly juiced by the level of toxicity here, even if it does find the corium. It says, hopefully it's still in the containment drywall, not having melted through the base pad in the lower level basement of the ground below. If it has, friends, it hits, it, and we believe it's hit the water table, that would be a level of poison beyond all recognition. It would be off the charts. And there's a chance that this may have already happened, and they're either not knowing about it or they're hiding it. It says, if it exited the drywall, it may have melted through the downcomer vents and into the torus in the first level basement. And some may have found its way into drains and drain pipes as one the flows that Chernobyl did, of course, known as elephant's foot. Uh, that'd be great if any of us knew what a torus or downcomer vent was, but you get the point. It's, it's a radioactive goo now that may have hardened anywhere and is throwing off unimaginable amounts of radiation. It's like a small neutron star. It's so deadly. It says uh, the geology at Chernobyl is quite different than Fukushima. Having been built atop the solid granite bedrock rather than the rock and grave fell, which is why gravel fell, which is why everyone said among uh, reasons of tsunami and earthquake to not build there. And everyone said that this earthquake and tsunami wouldn't happen, that this meltdown wouldn't happen. Well, here it is, just like it was predicted. It said uh, Chernobyl's elephant foot formation exits a large drain pipe in what is the basement of the plant that melted nine feet roughly into the granite. It melts granite. If the Fukushima Unit 1 corium made it to the ground underneath the plan, it is likely to have spread further through the fill and be much more difficult to retrieve, even as the underground river of groundwater that runs beneath the facility picks up contamination and takes it out into the ocean. Decommissioning requires that all nuclear fuel in whatever state be removed from direct containment with the environment and safely isolated. It says the Unit 1 mountain camera scans apparently also found some evidence that some fuel fragments may have been relocated, yeah, relocated, from the reactor vessel to the spent fuel and refueling floor, though the precise nature of the evidence and how the fuel managed to get to these locations isn't explained. It was, how about being blown there? If there is corium fuel debris in these locations, it will make cleanup preparation for defueling uh, more complicated, especially in light of the recontamination of rice fields uh, downwind during the cleanup of the Unit 3 react refueling floor. Again, the food in Japan, no matter what it is, is likely toxic, and if you eat it, you're a nutcase. You are so stupid, I don't know how you found my show. 
It says, now that the glorified tent over Unit 1 has been removed, cleanup of that mess is scheduled to start sometime in the next week. Again, they had a mesh tent over it, which we all know, you know, mesh tents keep radiation from spreading. But they don't. And you got the Olympics coming. It says they're going to have the individual three-and-a-half-legged sprint. And that's about it, friends. Uh, naturalnews.com. Fukushima, the world's radiation nightmare. It says, um, obviously, Japan and the world's radiation nightmare will not go away in our lifetimes, nor our children's, nor grandchildren's. The half-life of uranium and plutonium is millions of years, by the way. It says the Fukushima nuclear power plant is hemorrhaging radioactive toxic waste into the ocean. And though we are told not to panic, nor even to be casually concerned, the situation is dangerous and critical to the future life on Earth. Um, this is, uh, from, uh, a lot of this is quoted from Dr. Circus, C-I-R, S-I-R-C-U-S. Ever since March 11th of 2011, the damage plant has been leaking tremendous amounts of radiation. Now TEPCO, which is GE, who you should pull all of your money out if they are in a mutual fund or a stock that you have, that's the operator of the damage facilities who did not bring good things to life, says that they have recorded spikes between 50 to 70 times above the average readings in the gutters that pour water into the nearby bay. 50 to 70 times the average radiation going right into the food that you're going to eat if you have any imports from Japan at all. The Nuclear Regulation Authority said February 22nd of 2015 that an alarm went off at the Fukushima 1 nuclear plant, signaling high radioactivity levels in, dra in drainage ditches. According to the NRA and plant operator TEPCO, the first alarm sounded around 10 a.m. and another 10 minutes later indicated much higher levels. Now, uh, Becquerel, as we all know, is one tiny nuclear explosion that happens inside the body per second. Every single one of those can hit another cell, and if it morphs the cell, it can turn to cancer, likely will turn to cancer, and then your life as you know it is forever over. So now we know what a Becquerel is, let's continue. The levels of beta ray emitting substances such as strontium-90, that is red, how about, read that as bone cancer, measured 5,050 to 7,230 Becquerels per one liter of water between 1020 a.m. and 1050 a.m. TEPCO requires radioactivity levels of groundwater at the plant discharged into the sea to remain below five Becquerels. However, it was revealed that TEPCO knew about the problem all the way back in May of last year and did not report it. So they have allowed massive amounts of strontium-90, one of the most toxic substances in the known universe, to be measured at levels that are toxic to everything and hit it. Hit it. No one's doing jail time. No one's getting the electric chair, which they should, because this is murder. This is murder. If I poison you with strontium-90 and hide it from you, I have murdered you. Um, for those of you wondering, you can take calcium to, uh, to so that your body is full of calcium and it will be less likely to draw levels of strontium in because strontium mimics calcium. Um, look up more on Chris Busby calcium strontium for this, but it's not a cure-all. It's, it's simply the best you can do. It says an official at the plant apologized, saying that the trust of the people in Fukushima is the most important thing. What trust? What bonehead would ever trust them? And that we've been working with that in mind, but unfortunately we have damaged that trust this time, according to the Digital Journal. The situation at Fukushima is obviously much worse than authorities are leading us to believe. So they admitted they lied. No, that's all right. You just, you know, poisoned millions. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Newsweek reported on the continuing disaster, saying the fallout from the Fukushima disaster is far from over. A staggering number of accidents have plagued the plant here at 420. Strontium mimics calcium, as I mentioned earlier, mix, making it extremely dangerous to all forms of life on Earth. Once it is absorbed, you can never get it out of your body, by the way. Local, national, and international fury once again rises against TEPCO as this latest indication that the crisis at the plant is far from being under control. 
Japan's top government spokesperson reiterated the government's long-standing mantra that the situation is completely under control. Any negative impact of radioactive water on the environment is completely blocked. TEPCO also was aware since April of last year and did nothing to prevent the contaminated water from leaking directly into the sea, where they encouraged people to fish and said that their waters were safe now. Um, the private enterprise versus free enterprise. I'm not going to do a lot of this, but I want to. I want to get this from the Mises.org, Logan Albright's article. Do you realize that nobody would insure, no insurance company would insure a nuclear power plant. They wouldn't because the loss is too great and the price is too high. So what they do is governments using your my tax dollars, give them billions of dollars to open these things up so when they melt down you and I have paid for our own uh, death here to some degree and if we were if we had a more libertarian mindset in this country then we would be able overnight to shut these down because even libertarians who are unwisely in favor of nuclear power are almost never in favor of tax subsidies for companies. Nuclear power plants would cease to exist because they would not be able to be 